Behold, the werewolf versus the vampire woman. What a title, hmm. You may be pleasantly surprised to learn that this was in fact the fifth entry among us, a series of Spanish werewolf films starring Euro horror staple Paul Nashi. Does this film live up to its title? Does the werewolf actually engage in combat with the vampire woman? Yes, much of the film concerns the build-up toward their final confrontation. The film's synopsis concerns slightly more than that. We open with the resurrection of Nashi's character, the lycanthrope Waldemir Daninsky. Two morticians remove two silver bullets from his heart on the night of a full moon. Not a good idea. And so the transformed Daninsky rides again. We are then introduced to Elvira and Genevieve, two students in search of the lost tomb of the allegedly vampiric Countess Wandessa. They deduce a possible gravesite nearby a large ancient castle, occupied by one Count Waldemir Daninsky. Hmm. Those who are privy to the previous entry of this series, Fury of the Werewolf, might be confused. How did a college professor wind up owning this castle exactly? Who the hell knows? I actually speculate somewhat whether this may have been an attempt to act as a direct sequel to the first film in the series, 1968's Mark of the Wolfman, due to the similar occupation, the cause of Daninsky's death, and the similar plotting and themes to that initial film. That being said, there is a scene where Daninsky explains his origin story as being bitten in Tibet, which if you recall occurred in the previous century, the aforementioned Fury of the Wolfman. I wouldn't bother if I were you to make sense of this series loose canon. Life is too temporary. Anyway, in this 1971 picture, Daninsky shows Elvira and Genevieve the gravesite. Elvira accidentally cuts herself and bleeds over the tomb of Countess Wandessa. Well, good work, Elvira. This resurrects the evil lady. Genevieve is turned into a vampire that very night. Daninsky must transform into the Wolfman in order to stand a chance against these foul creatures of the night. This picture is directed by Mr. Leon Klamovsky, who directed several fascinating European horror films during, predominantly, the 1970s. I wouldn't really name this title one of his very best, but it contains reasonably aesthetic production values, and only the humanness of the two titular monsters can be overtly faulted. Though really, the vampire ladies look nice, effectively creepy, especially amongst the particular lighting and staging, usually for a fog machine. I can hardly consider this an amazing piece of work, and it isn't necessarily my favourite of the Nashi cycle, though it did really hammer home a precedent of Nashi's Wolfman engaging in combat with another titular monster. In subsequent films, he engages in battle with the Yeti, a resurrected Countess Elizabeth Bathory, and a shape-shifting Japanese sorcerer. More than that, this picture was actually the most commercially successful of the Nashi Wolfman cycle, at least according to a couple of vagueish sources. Someone is welcome to clarify this with superior sourcing to Wikipedia and some film blog. It has also been said to have been the catalyst for a subsequent boom of Spanish horror throughout that decade. There certainly is a number of Spanish horror work throughout the 1970s, some of it rather interesting, I think. So, the werewolf versus the vampire woman. This picture is actually rather slow-paced, for better or for worse. I might, have, I might have preferred it if it were jam-packed of content in this case, as it is mostly slow without building significant mood or tension. It doesn't dedicate itself to holding one's attention. That being said, it contains rather nice cinematography. I enjoy the setting and scenery, the staging is relatively effective, and you end up feeling, at least I do, like you did not waste your time with it. Nashi makes for a fun wolfman, and seeing him wreck things up at the end of one of these films is always a blast for me. He really seems to get into it. If you're intrigued by these films, check them out. I find them to be a fun cycle of genre playfulness, and perhaps maybe you might as well.